Hi everybody and welcome back. It's Cheryl and we are here with another Dollar Tree video. So today we are going to go into the Dollar Tree and we are shopping for groceries today. So we're on the lookout for um, those staples that we can use that um, are going to be cheaper at the Dollar Tree than at the market and some ways to make some inexpensive dinners. So I don't know about y'all, but um, groceries are expensive and they're killing my budget. And when I'm budgeting, I don't wanna go over budget because I like to save the extra money to go on vacation. And if um, you're planning a vacation, please go check my vacation tip planning video. Um, there's a Disney planning video, but all the tips would apply to any vacations. So without further ado, let's go shopping, shall we? So let's jump right into it. And we've got some snacks that I need for my son for the week. Banana cream pudding, yum. We've got bread. This is going to be in an, uh, I need for um, this week, I need actually hamburger rolls. So they also have white bread, wheat bread, and hot dog rolls. So this could all be staples that you could be using for sure during the week. Croissants and other breakfast items as well. So definitely don't forget the Dollar Tree. Now you could go a step further. We got bologna. You could do fried bologna sandwiches. You have bologna. You have white bread. There's cheese. So there's other types of sausages and stuff. But I know, you know a lot of people like fried bologna. You could get your fried bologna, you can get your bread right here, you could have lunch for the entire week. Don't forget that the Dollar Tree also stocks a variety of cheeses. You could definitely buy the cheddar cheese that was on the bottom there, and you could shred that up yourself, so that's gonna save you some money. I did like the looks of these little snack packs. For $1.25, those are a good deal. Let's do breakfast for dinner. We've got waffles, they have chocolate chip, they have blueberry, we have sausages, they have little sausage patties as well as sausage links. And these are really good sausage links. I've bought them numerous times. <coughs> um, yeah, different, many different types of sausage. So this sausage, guys, I'm going to talk a lot about. This sausage is super versatile. We can put this in a ton of stuff. So we are actually going to um, grab several things of this sausage. So continuing on with breakfast, we can make pancakes all the pancake mix it's a complete so all you need is water and we've got syrup as well now here's another thing we can do with our sausage we have a biscuit mix and we've got gravy mix so we take our sausage we're going to grind that up we're going to get the country gravy and we're going to use that biscuit mix and there you go 375 and we have ourselves a delicious breakfast or dinner Either way, I love biscuits and gravy, and I do not live in the South. But I just did want to show you this store a little bit. So if you watched my last video, and if you did, thank you so much. That video's done very well. Um, you see, this is my normal Dollar Tree. Very differently, um, the, the stock that's happening here. This was a huge pack of cornbread muffin mix. So I actually did grab that. We're going to do something with that. Uh, the Velveeta I've talked about before, and we're actually going to make that recipe at the end of this video. So please stay tuned because we're going to make dinner at the end of this video. All of your taco supplies are going to be right here at the Dollar Tree. You could do um, tacos. You can do some beans. You can Your taco mix is here. They have soft tacos. They have hot tacos. The only thing that you're obviously not going to get is your ground beef, but you could use the sausage. Um, we've got all of our rice and all those dry goods that you can get at the grocery store. Don't. You can get it all here. We have all of your pastas, all of your rice. Anything that you want dry good wise is going to be here. The only place some of these place, uh, the only place some that might beat some of these prices possibly could be Walmart. So here's your Big, there's a big container of Parmesan up here, actually, so you could grab that. But here's the hunts. I keep telling you, get your hunts here, $1.25, unless you find a sale for a dollar, which I haven't seen lately at all. It's been over a year since I've seen that. But we're going to get some hunt sauce. We're going to get our oven-made, um, oven-ready lasagna. We can use that sausage with this recipe. 
the only thing that I don't have in here would be some ricotta if you're using that. So you can make lasagna. I'm going to take this Hungry Jack and I'm gonna put that with my dinner for tonight. So that's at the end of this video as well. So please stay tuned so that you can watch that dinner and um, see how we liked that. So all of this stuff can be used for dinner. This is my son's favorite. We're gonna do make your own pizzas. So they have the large pizza. This would be for the whole family. And then they have the individual. So there's gonna be two in this package. And I bought this multiple times for my son. I actually use this as um, basket, stock, uh, basket stuffers for Easter and they have the sauce as well. And the sauce is really good. They don't have mozzarella at my store, but they did have um, cheddar. So I'm gonna grate that up. And you could also just get Parmesan and put that on top. Because if you're from New England, you know that pizza is just red sauce and some Parmesan. Go back to the refrigerator section, get yourself some hot dogs. Here's some Franks and beans. Chop those up, saute them a little bit, and throw them in there with your hot dogs and beans. There's another super easy dinner. That's one of my dad and my husband's favorites. So, and you can also go get those hot dog rolls. You could make hot dogs on the grill. There's, these are potato gnocchis. I actually have never had these and I don't know what to do with them. So if anybody has a recipe or has some ideas, can you guys give me some thoughts on those? Cause that's something I'm actually not familiar with. I did need mac and cheese because I'm out and my son likes it. Um, so these were $1.25 obviously, and they've been super high at the grocery store. So we did get three boxes of mac and cheese, but you could also make your own from ingredients that I've showed you here today. This I just liked. These are three individual containers if you like the um, Olive Garden dressing. These are egg noodles. The egg noodles are a really great deal here. There's so many options. So we're gonna grab some egg noodles and we're gonna grab some tuna fish and we are gonna make ourselves a tuna casserole this week. So all of these things are gonna be dinners in my home this week. I'm telling you, you can save so much money. We needed some snacks for my son's lunch. So here's six pack. I don't want him to have a lot of snacky items during the day. I did end up grabbing the mac and cheese from here. As I showed you guys last week, I did like the Alfredo. They didn't have the Alfredo here. They had the chicken Alfredo. I didn't want to try that just yet. So I did, I'm going to have this for lunch tomorrow. It's in the freezer at school. So I will try that tomorrow and I'll let you know how that is. But I did enjoy the Alfredo. Uh, what else do we have in here? So many different things, it's kind of crazy. But you could get your individual chicken nuggets. They did have a lot of little bite size, like kind of like snack pack kind of things. So that would be like maybe one child's dinner. I'm curious how these are. They didn't have just cheese. My son eats cheese, um, the little bites for lunch almost every single day, but he doesn't like pepperoni. So I didn't grab those. But if they do have just cheese, I will definitely grab those in the future. There's just so much stuff. Oh, I need to get the garlic bread because we're gonna make that lasagna during the week. And I think I'm also gonna do next week a ravioli with the ground sausage and throw that into um, my sauce to make a meat sauce. I prefer sausage over ground beef and we're gonna put some garlic bread with that. So that'll be a really nice inexpensive dinner as well. Just so much good stuff, you guys. You really have to just really go in there and look. They do have french fries as well. That would be a good side. And they've got um, a whole bunch of vegetables and um, they had the broccoli, they had green beans. You're gonna see that in my video at the end that goes with dinner tonight. So I did pick up the green beans. Another thing that I was looking at was they had a bunch of smoothie mixes. Now I just bought a ton of, um, actually I was gonna, I think those carrots will go in with egg noodles next week. So I did end up grabbing those and the cauliflower. I already had cauliflower in my freezer and in my refrigerator, so I didn't pick those up. But so many vegetables that you could be using. Stir fry blend, you can do a lot with this. The stir fried vegetables with the rice and you could do a meatless dinner for sure. So just look at all the options. I mean, there's just such a variety. Now here's the fruit I was just mentioning. These are mango chunks. 
and I buy frozen fruit for my son for smoothies that he has every morning to kind of keep him going through the day. But I'm going to do a price comparison and I want to see with the, these were decent sized bags and they had an unbelievable variety of different stuff. And this is all stuff that I, like I said, I currently have in my freezer and I'm paying between $9.99 and $14 a bag. Obviously the bags are bigger, but I'm going to check those out. Guys, wait until you get to the end of my video. Do not stop here because we have got to talk about these cookies. Now, this was something that I grabbed to throw in my lunchbox so that if I needed a treat um, during lunch, I would have something. These are three individually packed cookies. Mrs. Fields, I mean, those are good. So shh, don't tell anybody. I actually have the cookies in my lunchbox at work, but don't let anybody else know. Guys, you will thank me. If you see this, grab it. If you're a rum drinker, add a shot of coconut rum on ice to this right here. You will thank me. You'll be calling me. You'll be sending me money. I'm telling you, it is delicious. So good. Look at these cookies. There's six cookies in here. We're going to bake these up tonight. Six cookies. There's three of us home. Myself, my husband, and my son. My oldest never comes home, and he's not a big sweet treat, so he's not going to watch it anyway. That's okay. So we're going to cook up these cookies tonight, and then I'm going to grab some ice cream. So I grabbed some vanilla ice cream, but look at all the variety of flavors that they have, and we're going to make cookie sandwiches. So for $2.50, instead of running out to the store or running out to the ice cream parlor, with your child, you can make your own little sweet treat. So we're gonna take the cookies, we're gonna bake them up, and we're gonna scoop some ice cream into the middle and we're gonna make a little ice cream sandwich treat tonight. This is what I'm telling you. So everybody was commenting on my last video when I snuck off to a different Dollar Tree that their Dollar Tree didn't look like that. Well, that wasn't my Dollar Tree, friends. <laughs> this is my Dollar Tree, but I have to tell you, I might have to be changing over, but this is what I came here for. I've talked about this many times and I did a short on this last week that got a lot of no, um, notif notices. Look at this knife, this 7.5 Santuco. I'm telling you guys, if nothing else, go get this knife. This knife is absolutely amazing. And this is the little one. I have several of both. It's, it's truly, one of the best knives I've ever had. And I will never spend a lot of money on knives before. These I love. I have these in my drawer as well. They're little, um, but I absolutely love them. So I have almost all of these little things in um, the blue color. But there, there's a lot of great stuff here, especially if you know somebody just starting out and putting their kitchen together or, you know, just got an apartment or something. Okay, so that was a successful Dollar Tree trip. We got our groceries. We clocked in at $28.75. Wow, this lighting is really bad after a day of work and no makeup left on. Wow. So um, the Dollar Tree that I'm at right now, which is the closest one, there's two that are about the same distance from my house. Um, and one of them has a grocery store near it and the other one has a Walmart. So I actually needed to return, I bought the wrong moisturizer last time I was there. So I need to return my moisturizer. So I'm going to run into Walmart for ground beef, chicken, um, water. We have well water here, so we don't really drink our water for drinking. So I have to get some bottled water and juice boxes. They do have juice boxes at the Dollar Tree and they're probably cheaper that way because there's four and they're very fine for a dollar, but they're a little small and my son's 12. So I'm gonna pick up some juice boxes and I think milk and cream, those are things that they don't have at the dollar store. So I'm gonna pick up just those few things from there so that um, we can make dinner. Okay, so I'm at my local Walmart. This is the one closest to my house. And if anybody lives in the area, they're gonna know where I am in just a second. But this truck right here has been here for over a year, I'm gonna say. They've cleaned it out. There used to be stuff all piled in the back of it. There was literally trash and garbage inside of it. And it was literally, look, the tires are blown out on it and it's been here forever. 
and now there's no plates on it and it says property of Trinity Transportation Trust. I don't know what that means, but how weird and it's just taken up this spot right here near the front of the store. But I don't know, comment down below if you know what Walmart I'm at. So let's go shopping. So we're inside Walmart now and we're just gonna get those things that obviously we can't get um, at the Dollar Tree. So some fresh produce. Um, this was really inexpensive for asparagus and my husband loves asparagus. So $1.50 for per pound is really cheap right now. So it wasn't the best looking asparagus, but when I saute it up, it'll all be fine. And also they had some blackberries, which my son has been obsessed with right now. And it was a humongous pack. It was a double pack um, for the 458. So that was a really great price for the blackberries. So we got some of those. Uh, evaporated milk, I actually grabbed this. Evaporated milk and chicken over egg noodles, guys. That is something that has been a staple since I was a child. So you just saute it up with some butter, you add the evaporated milk in there, put it over egg noodles, it's delicious. So here is their 12 ounce package, their 16 ounce package of their sausage. Here's the Jimmy Dean sausage, but notice the price comparison. So 462, so that's gonna be a big difference um, for what we were paying. So that's 231, for the half of that is what we bought at the Dollar Tree. So there's a big, big difference there. This five pound of the ground beef, we're gonna split this up into five one pound things and freeze it. And the same thing with the chicken. I freeze um, usually two chicken breasts at a time, sometimes just one depending on like what I'm doing with it. But we're gonna get ourselves some chicken, we're gonna get ourselves some ground beef, and that's gonna be in, um, lots of recipes throughout the next couple of weeks. If you didn't want to buy the full family pack or if you only wanted Purdue, um, you can get those here as well. So the Walmart brand was $2.99. It was a little bit more expensive for the Purdue brand, or you could do the smaller packages if um, you know budget was tight. But even here, look, $162 for the two pound bag. It was $125 for the same rice. So you do have to watch if you're you know being picky, you have to watch your prices. I did pick up two small frozen shrimps because that is also going to be um, something that I need at the end of the week. Um, we're having a party and I'm making seafood rice. I was looking for scallops and they unfortunately didn't have any scallops. I like the little scallops, not the big scallops for my seafood rice. So I'm going to have to unfortunately go somewhere else. But also going to grab these potatoes and that's going to be for something different as well. So these are the Dollar Tree Fudge Mint. Says it two times. Fudge Mint, Fudge Mint cookies. Obviously a take on Thin Mints. So this is the Thin Mint expert. Let's see if they are even close. If they're edible at all. <laughs> something tells me that we might get it. Oh, the packaging looks similar. <laughs> Like the girl one. Wow, the nerve. No. We will get an honest reaction here, though. <laughs> I said package. It's pretty good. Wow. <laughs> Coming from you, that says a lot. So, $1.25 for, looks like two very Two's similar sweet. packages, nine ounces, as opposed to. What were they? Five bucks, yeah. I think, for Girl Scout cookies. So support your Girl Scouts, obviously. But if you're still having your Thin Mint uh, cravings later on, run out to the Dollar Tree and get some Fudge Mint oven-baked cookies. Girl hey, there you have it. We've already eaten three. <laughs> okay, everyone. I was going to have my husband take out his cookies and match them up to the um, oven-baked cookies but his sleeve isn't open and I don't wanna waste them. So the difference is these cookies have a, um, a little bit more chocolate, but not by a lot. However, my husband was just reading the packaging and this is interesting. So this is the oven baked. They're a little bit less calories, but there's a little bit less chocolate. So that would be to be expected. However, if you come down here and you look where they're manufactured, they're manufactured by the same company 
Interbake Foods LLC. They're manufactured by the same company. Pretty interesting. So go get yourself some fudge mint cookies after you get your Thin Mints and your uh, Jones in for some more. Run out to the Dollar Tree. Okay, everybody. I don't know who needs to know this, but I'm pretty sure you do. Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies. It's pretty much everybody's number one. It's my husband's number one. Okay. Fudge Mint cookies from the Dollar Tree. They're both nine ounces. Both have two exact sleeves inside of them. Okay. We're going to come over here. Look at the Girl Scout cookies. Interbaked foods. Look at the Dollar Tree cookies. Interbaked foods. Uh-oh. I don't know. Run out and get your cookies. You tell me. Comment down below. My husband thinks they taste pretty similar. Tell me what you think. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. So... You just saw us walk through the Dollar Tree and then quickly run into Walmart. So in Walmart, the two main things that I was grabbing there was some ground beef and some chicken. So with what we got just at the Dollar Tree, you could make hot dogs. There was plenty of vegetables to put on the side. There's potato chips. There was even French fries in the frozen section. You could do hot dogs and beans. Again, there was plenty of frozen vegetables as well as, as canned vegetables. Um, not one of my favorites, but I know it was one of my grandmother's favorites, fried bologna sandwiches. Uh, frozen dinners, some of them were pretty good. As you saw, they didn't have a lot at my store yesterday, but go check out your store. Let me know what they have there. Um, they've got, you can do breakfast for dinner. That's, my family loves breakfast for dinner. So they had sausage, they had pancakes, they had waffles, they had plenty of options for breakfast for dinner. Sausage and potatoes, so... I um, bought some potatoes at the Dollar Tree because I, I mean, not at the Dollar Tree, sorry. I bought potatoes at Walmart because I bought two bags of the frozen hash brown potatoes, like the, the diced ones, because we're having an 80th birthday for my dad this weekend and there's about 80 people coming. So I'm making sausage and potatoes. So I will grind up my sausage that I bought at the Dollar Tree and I will add that in with the diced um, potatoes and it will it will go far that way. So sausage and potatoes is also something that we eat probably once a month, my husband and I. And I'm going to try that the sausage and potatoes using these hash browns as well. Sometimes I do it with mashed potatoes. Sometimes I do it with diced potatoes. Sometimes I do it with hash brown potatoes. So um, sausage and potatoes, and you can really stretch that. You can throw some peas in there, you know, whatever vegetables you like. Sometimes I do sausage and potatoes and make it more like a bangers and sausage. Sometimes I do it with vegetables and I bake it in the oven as a bake. So it's very versatile. Sausage is super versatile. So you can do that a lot of ways. Sausage and biscuits. You saw I bought the biscuits and um, I bought the gravy mix. So they right there, $3.75, you have a dinner. Um, they had the lasagna. You sausage in your lasagna. Who says it has to be ground beef? Um, I personally don't love ground beef. That's all my husband. So I would prefer sausage over ground beef. Actually, when I do a lasagna, usually I do half meat, half not, because I don't love ground beef. Um, but I would prefer sausage. When we get pizza, I get sausage. So lasagna was definitely an option. Um, we got the ingredients for the tuna casserole. So the egg noodles, tuna, super easy. Egg noodles and a million other things. Egg noodles and butter, egg noodles and Parmesan, egg noodles and vegetables. Um, there's a million ways. I'm sure egg noodles and sausage would be good in there somehow too. Egg noodles are super versatile, but they also had um, penne and they had elbow and they had thin spaghetti. So those things have been a constant. Then you could do just your pasta and meat sauce. So there you have 250, throw in some garlic bread, 375, you have a dinner. We don't need to have meat every single night. If you did, you can definitely throw some uh, sausage in there. If you were, you know, only at the Dollar Tree and you weren't going anywhere else this week, you could do the frozen vegetable, uh, frozen meatballs. Personally, I don't like meatballs because I said I don't like ground beef. So I don't buy them. Um, 
but I've never tried them. So somebody, if you have, can you comment down below? Let me know if you've ever tried them. My dad used to buy the Steakums all the time from the Dollar Tree. He absolutely loved them. They did not have any last night, but like I said, I was back at my regular Dollar Tree. They didn't have a very wide selection. So does anybody have Steakums currently at their Dollar Tree? I don't know if this is something that's gone away or not because it's not something that I look for regularly, but my dad used to buy it constantly. Um, a lot of pasta options. They had frozen ravioli. You could throw some frozen ravioli, get some sauce on that, put some garlic bread. That's a really nice dinner. You could make your own Alfredo just by using the um, Parmesan that they had there and some whole milk. Throw a little pepper in there, you have your own Alfredo sauce. So definitely a lot of options. Now, if you go and you add some ground beef or some chicken, you could, two pieces of chicken, you could cut up a million different ways for the entire week. There is a ton of rice options. You could do chicken and rice, chicken and beans, ground beef and beans. There was a lot of options. So I mean, just with what we've done um, from yesterday, you have a lot of choices for, for dinner. That would be good, nice, hearty um, dinners. So tonight we are making our dinner from the Dollar Tree. And you will see I have our um, ingredients ready right here. So here's our Dollar Tree dinner. So as I said, after I went to Walmart, I did buy the ground beef because this recipe calls for ground beef. So we are making inside out cheeseburgers. So I had seen these um, and I had made this a few times. My husband absolutely loves this. And he's like, what's the recipe for that? And I'm like, this is like the easiest thing ever, um, which I just found comical. But when I made it originally, I had gone and bought the block of Velveeta cheese. I'm not going to lie. I love me some Velveeta, especially at the holidays, broccoli and Velveeta all the way. But this is so much easier than cutting up, making a cheese sauce. So for this recipe, this is our ingredients. I bought these last night at the Dollar Tree. I bought this at the Dollar Tree. I bought this at Walmart. And I this is going to be our... Um, we're going to do some hash browns. So these particular hash browns I've never bought before. Let me know if you have. So these hash browns are supposed to feed five. My husband likes potatoes. So to play it safe, I am not going to. I'm going to just do two and then I'll let you know when I open up one completely what it looks like. So for this, you have to open them and you have to fill it with water. And then I guess the potato potatoes are going to come from dried potatoes to an actual potato. So they do have to sit for 12 minutes. So they've been sitting for a couple of minutes already. So I'm gonna let them sit for a few minutes more. And I also have some frozen green beans that I did buy last night at the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna throw those um, as a side. So we're gonna make some dinner. Okay, so we have our pan over here getting hot. We're gonna add in our ground beef. Got some salt. This Himalayan sea salt I got at the Dollar Tree is really, really good. Some onion powder. Some black pepper. And some garlic. I actually looked last night for garlic at the Dollar Tree and they didn't have any. Sometimes they have the minced garlic. So I just have a little bit left when I got at the grocery store. Because I can't be bothered mincing up my garlic. So we're just gonna go in here and we're gonna get this all nice and brown. Okay. okay, so while this is browning up over here, we're gonna go over to the potatoes and the potatoes, apparently now the water, you have to fill the water up to here and then we have to drain the water. So we're gonna drain off the water and then put that in the pan that I have heating with two tablespoons of oil. All right, so this is one container of the hash browns. So as you can see, this is a pretty large size pan and we have the pan covered. So you can kind of judge if this would be enough for you. But since I already added the water, I'm going to get that going and I'm gonna salt, pepper, garlic this as well. Okay, so the potatoes are cooking well. This is all chopped up 
pretty much where I want it. FYI, my masher came from Pampered Chef a million years ago, but they do have this at the Dollar Tree. So do not be doing your ground beef or anything else without it. At this point, I'm gonna take about, I don't know, a tablespoon or so of ketchup for just that like added depth of flavor. Don't forget this is inside out burger. Okay, we're gonna mix that in there. And then we're ready for liquid gold. Okay, check on the potatoes. Okay, so we're gonna, now we're gonna add in the Velveeta. This is kind of funny because my husband doesn't love cheese and he doesn't like Velveeta and this is one of his favorite things to eat. So we're gonna get all of that deliciousness in there. And then we're just gonna start incorporating. And then you can kind of decide if you need one package or two. So I feel like we might end up needing two today. So this is gonna be our son's first time trying these and he agreed to try them today. He only eats chicken and just recently started the Whopper commercial is on so often that he just wanted to try a Whopper and he didn't hate it. So he's had a Whopper and last week he actually, I made cheeseburgers and he had a cheeseburger. So that's big progress. I just added about a tablespoon or so of water just to try to get that all to stick together. So he has agreed to try the inside out burgers tonight because it's basically the same thing. So now we're gonna let this cook a little bit. I might've added too much water, so we'll let that cook. We'll come over here and check on our potatoes. And I'm sure somebody's gonna ask why I changed burners. And that's because this is my high heat side. My, ma my ma hamburger was done and I wanted to get my potatoes cooking. So potatoes are coming along, not burning, getting brown, but we want them to be nice and crispy. Okay, this looks absolutely perfect. I did not add in another um, packet. So one packet to about one pound of ground beef and just a squirt of ketchup with salt, pepper, onion powder, some garlic. So this was absolutely delicious. I just checked on it. Got our potatoes over here. Now I have had to add some more oil because I only started with like maybe one and a half tablespoons, but I did use two packages. And then I did add in, um, I had an open package of ranch seasoning. So I added just the rest of that into here. And these are looking good. So we're gonna toast up um, my hamburger rolls right here on the middle grill. We're gonna do our green beans and then we will be ready to eat. So here's the finished product. You see, I still have, my green beans are done. I still have enough for a sandwich or two in here, which my husband will take for lunch tomorrow. And we made enough for five sandwiches for dinner. So more than enough. That was, like I said, I bought the ground beef yesterday, split that into fives. That was a pound of ground beef, one package of Velveeta. So there's your dinner, guys, for 375 right there then you add in the ground beef you have dinner in like seven dollars for a family of four so enjoy okay guys well there you have it there's at least 12 dinners that you can make just from the dollar tree alone so go out do some shopping let me know what you guys came up with if you liked this video or any of my other videos i'd appreciate it if you would subscribe comment um, like this video, share it with your friends. We're trying to reach 1000 subscribers. Um, the support has been amazing. So thank you all so much. We've got some race videos and some Disney World trip videos coming up. So please like, subscribe, share. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching.